Well, thank you for your time today. Can you share with us some information about the event? Well, we're Rolling Thunder Chapter 2 New Jersey. We're part of a much larger national organization. And what we're here today to do is to bring attention to the plight of POWs and MIAs from our services. Since World War I, there's about 86,000 men who have been unaccounted for. Nobody knows where they are, what happened to them, and we want to bring attention to that. But we also do whatever we can to help veterans who are homeless, or who are down on their walk. And so we bring attention to veterans' issues by having these motorcycles. What are some things that people can do to help out? You know, a lot of things can be as simple as just saying thank you. But of course, money is always something that can help because what we do is we can help a veteran pay bills, pay rent, pay the water bill, pay the heat in the wintertime, those types of things, to keep them going and sustain themselves because some of them are unemployed, just unable to make the bills, do those types of things. We also try to help with PTSD. We, we go around and, and, and try to help veterans who are having just a hard time adjusting. So it can be money, it can be time, Sometimes you can just be walking up to a veteran and thanking them for their service and, and letting them know that somebody does care. And speaking to that, you have many different generations here today, from uh, children who's five years old and, and younger to uh, folks that uh, span the generations. How do you establish that connectivity that you did today? How do you move that forward? You know, it's, it's difficult because parents have adopted this attitude that they don't want their kids to serve in the military. And so they tend to want to ignore that. So it's, it's hard to get to the, to the kids. But if you can get them to understand what someone is sacrificing for them, there's guys and girls going off every single day to fight for our freedom in some way or another. Even if they're just sitting at, on, at McGuire Air Force Base, they're fighting for our freedom because they're helping to keep us free. So you can get these kids to understand that's the next generation that's going to help us do it. You look around, there's a lot of old people around. We're getting older. I, I, I'm a veteran. I got out of the Army in 1983. I got guys that got out in the 60s, okay? We're dying off. And the young, younger generation is responsible for our future, and they're going to need to step up and be responsible for that. What would be the three key messages that you want folks to leave with today? The first key message, above anything, is that we have to remember those 86,000 men and women who have not come home. That's 86,000 families who have no idea what happened to one of their loved ones. They have no answers whatsoever. They don't know if they died. They don't know if they were held captive until the day they died. They don't know if they suffered. They have no answers. That's the key to everything we're doing here. All right? But if you're looking for two more, it's to remember what veterans have done and that we have a responsibility to those veterans. And those are the three salient issues of everything that we do in Rolling Thunder. Where can folks go for more information or to help support your organizations? You can Google Rolling Thunder and you can Google Rolling Thunder Chapter 2 New Jersey and go to our website and see what we do. You can come out to one of our meetings. We meet the third Wednesday of every month down at the Community Hall in Lacey Township. The national organization is over in central New Jersey. There's five chapters throughout New Jersey. There's a chapter in almost every single state and in other countries. Every Memorial Day, we have a huge motorcycle run to bring awareness to this issue that in some cases brings a million motorcycles into, into Washington, D.C. And so people just need to pay attention.